Check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Duck! if you... Good at this. You guys are working way too hard. They're always looking to one up us, aren't you? Seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? Order of the Stone? Let's get some treasure. Treasure! So much for treasure. This cupboard is bare. You know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Again. Hey, it's working. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. We would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. Wow, well, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. Packed a lot in since then. And to think, 
That was just the beginning. Yeah, that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderin, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Olivia, prep the redstone wrap. Nearly there. Okay, activate it. Good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. Whoa. So gotta teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. Okay, what should I burn first? The grass. No, that stump. Whoa! Whoa. Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? 
Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you ocelots doing here, anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mmm, no. Hey! Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero, which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh, I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Okay, I'm officially starting to get a bad feeling about Aiden. Threatening people, scary enchantments on his sword. I hope he doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Yeah, not our fault we're so awesome. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. on this wild, epic adventure full of monsters, hidden temples, treasure. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Ah! You guys are awesome! Welcome back! See that? Jesse high-fived me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. a happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! 
Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse! You're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you! It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! So what's this weird structure? It's my new house! And also, uh, my gift to the community! If anyone's short on lava, this is the place to get more! <laughs> You're welcome! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own! With loads of lava pouring off it! Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people! Dude, you made a killer house! Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Sorry, but Ivor's right. People have got to be free to build. That's so irresponsible. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Believe it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Beat me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Right, what he said. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. This place is really shaping up. Whoa! Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. Hey, Lucas! Great to see you! It's been a while. I really missed you guys. Well, we missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and... Just for a minute, I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning, I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh! I hate that guy! Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. Ha! Beat him. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot, the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. 
jealous. Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Wow, so that temple we went to, was that built by these old builders? That's my suspicion. But it's what's inside the temple that interests me even more. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. Wow, so is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse. Okay. I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. Well, what are we waiting for, then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries? You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Ugh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! Love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. got out of there last night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. You look excited, Ivor. Excited? I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. Once, uh, once we find it, that is. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Huh, 
Doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Eh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. Some sort of room up there. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic. We'll follow right behind you. Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential, so they well, hid it away in a place promising. where it never be found. And ha! It never has. Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> it's some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. That's a weird looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen. Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? Oh, Aiden? Why do you have to be such a tool? Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. Yeah, we're going, because I'm going to get that Eversource first. Come on. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Don't worry. I've got you. Surprisingly heavy. I am uh. the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Okay, what just happened? How did that portal even work? I suppose much the same way a portal to the nether works, except to an entirely different world. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? I'm starting to think Ivor was right about this being another world. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it! That's where it must be! The Eversource. A city? 
city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a problem. Okay, people, you know the drill. What did you guys bring with you? That's my private business. Didn't exactly bring a whole lot. Why? Because we're building a bridge, and it'll take everything we have. I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes, very astute, Lucas. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building! I... you... I... I don't... Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh... uh you don't know? Y you, you... you... you were building! A unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense! Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, we had no idea. It's a stupid law. Oh, jeez, first those other outsiders, now you... Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. super busy, sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. Wow. Incredible. It's unbelievable. Who made it? Whoever it was must have had the Eversource. It's the only explanation for the copious amount of rare materials they used to build it. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to meet you! No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it, you can stop writing now. Intense. Founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, oh, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The Founder finally approved my petition. The Founder? Well, that's her palace up there. She is the Keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She's incredible. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a fan. And so this founder makes all the rules? You got it. She's the one that protects us from the Eversource. Well, it seems only right. That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. 
Your petition was very well handled. I just don't understand why everyone shouldn't be allowed to build. Ha! <laughs> what a sentiment. I mean, it is a good thought, but that's crazy. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, it is considered impolite to stare. Uh, hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Are you Milo? Yes, yes, that's me. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, don't see many new arrivals here in Sky City. Now, what can I do for you, friend? I'm busy, but I can spare a moment for a friendly stranger. I heard you talk to the Blaze Rods earlier. What did they want? Hmm. Hmm. Blaze Rods. Hmm. I... I don't know any Blaze Rods. You must have been misled. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this our guy? He tell you where to find the Blaze Rods? How many of you are there? I told you I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? Come on, you can trust me. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Just help us. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So, where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder! I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Oh, this is not good. What are you... Oh, crap. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene! The builders! Atrocious. Everyone, everyone, please. I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to the Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested! Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help? Hey! Unhand me! Hey, don't treat him like that. We didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> the builders! Ha! Knew you'd see it my way. Thank you, Jesse. Hey! Hands off the road. Guards! Bring them forward. Jesse, I... I promise! I hope you know what you're doing. Let go of me this instant! Excuse me! Excuse me! Come with me. We meet at last. Listen, I don't know what that guy's told you, but you can't listen to him. Oh, Jesse, I'm hurt. Wounded. Hmm. 
I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be interesting. to Sky City. I grant you these gifts. There, see? That my card she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Would both of you guys just shut up? Trying to make a good impression here. Sorry, Jesse. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding. We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally. Going down, Aiden. I'm gonna stop you. Not this time, Jesse. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the founder. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. But I didn't know it was against the law when we started to build. We were stranded. What were we supposed to do? Ignorance won't get you any favors. Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got it all wrong. The the blaze rods are the thieves, not us. We're just here trying to get back the thing they stole from us. Really? Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just wait here then. Tell me what you see. I don't see anything. It's just empty. Precisely. As you can see, nothing exists below us. Only the void. Resources. Every kind are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. It is my duty to keep my people safe. And the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. I guess that makes sense. How would you get anything new up here? I appreciate your trying to understand our world. <sighs> People act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. Wait, what do you mean by limited? I heard the Eversource could make unlimited precious materials. If only it were so simple. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. But you don't need to do it alone. We could help you. We could work together. <sighs> Being the leader of the city, it is a tiring burden. Uh, but no, this is my city. These are my people. And it is my responsibility. I think I've heard quite enough.
Good. Now that you're back, we can talk properly. Reginald, I've made my decision. While I'm not convinced that you are here to steal the Eversource, the fact remains that you constructed a bridge of dirt without authorization. That is why you and your companions are to be detained <gasps> until I can discern the full truth of the matter. Reginald, please remove them. Yes, ma'am. What? Oh, come on. I wanted to help you. Don't do this. <sighs> I'm afraid this is the way it has to be. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. Fascinating stuff here. Hey, you already locked us up. You really need to confiscate our stuff, too? Well, it wouldn't be much of a jail if I let you keep your stuff. Oh, wow. What is this? That's mine? It's almost like dirt. But not. That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? Are you kidding me? We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. <clears throat> he said that you burn down trees just for fun. That you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. You can't believe a thing Aiden says. He's a liar. He said that you'd say that. I suppose that's probably what a liar would say. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the Blaze Rods beef up security. Can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little... <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Reginald, I promise I'm not lying. You can believe me. Really? Kind of seems like a your word versus their situation. Reggie, listen to me. You've seen how they act. They're not good people. You know it. Uh, okay. Let's say you make a good point. And I'm not saying you do, but hypothetically, why would I, captain of the guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell? I'll never know how you looked at them and thought, there are some upstanding citizens. I know that if you really think about it, you'll see. We should be on the same side here. We're the good guys. Huh. <clears throat> good guys, huh? Okay, let's say I'm heading to the pantry to get you prisoners some bread. And maybe you'll forget to lock the door? Please just get out of here. Get to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. Nice work! Now, on to the Eversource. I mean, I understand wanting to stop the Blaze Rods, but you can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? 
Honestly, I just don't want Aiden to get his hands on the Eversource. So long as we stop him, that's what's important. Sounds good to me. No way Aiden would do anything good if he had it. Throne room was back this way. Well, here we are. Back in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Behind you! Ugh. Hey! Wait! Stop! Milo, easy! That's Jesse and Lucas. Jesse! I can't believe we found you! I can't believe you punched me. Ah, yes. I feel absolutely terrible about that. Let me assure you. Petra, what in the world are you doing here? We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. I had hoped this would be the case. This is all very nice and very sweet, but who the heck are you? Hey, you're that weird innkeeper guy. Ha, <laughs> well, that is my day job. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is a long story. In short, my people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. If Aiden and his blaze rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. And I won't allow that. Yeah, he's gotta be stopped. If we work together, we can find it first. I do like the idea of beating Aiden. Milo, I'm happy to have you aboard. Welcome to the team. I'm very pleased to be involved. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. Yeah, there was a door here before with a minecart. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! Jesse, what are you doing? Ha, <laughs> sorry. 